Namaste everyone. We're going to draw the structure of boron trifluoride. Let's proceed. The electronic configuration of boron is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. I'm drawing the orbitals of these of the electronic configuration. The 1s for 2s and for 2p. In 1s subshell it is having two electrons and similarly in 2s it is having two. 2p subshell has three orbitals the px, py and pz it is having a single electron. Now the number of unpaired electrons unpaired electrons are one is one okay in ground state remember that now boron is going to make three bonds because you can you guys can see it is bf3 okay so this is not possible and now we are going to draw the orbitals in excited state now what happens in the ex in excitation during excitation is that one of the electrons from 2s subshell jumps and uh, takes place or, or resides inside uh, one of the orbitals of 2p okay so this electron suppose this electron jumps and goes inside this orbital okay i'm going to it is this one now now the number of unpaired electrons will be not one but three okay and this was for excited state now i've drawn it so i'm going to erase it talking about fluorine the electronic configuration of fluorine is 1s2 2s2 2p5 okay also if someone asks the number of valence electrons is also 3 because we, we count the number of valence electrons as the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell what is the outermost shell for uh, for boron it is the second shell 2 okay and 2 the second shell has two subshells the 2s subshell and 2p subshell and the number of electrons in these two subshells are 2 this one this the small 2 2 plus 1 3 okay and how did how did we find out the uh, number of unpaired electrons in in excited state i'm going to write it here this one in excited state uh, 2s has got a single electron in 2p uh, two orbitals have single single electrons the second the second one and the third one one two three and these three are unpaired so uh, uh, boron in excited state has three unpaired electrons remember these two have no connection whatsoever don't try to mix these two now uh, as i was talking fluorine has the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p5 drawing the orbitals of the electronic configuration written here 1s2 2s2 and as i told you p subshell has three orbitals 1s2 i'm going to draw the two electrons 2s2 two electrons as well and for 2p5 1 2 3 4 5 okay now the number of valence electrons is this is the second 2s and 2p not this one we are not going to count count this one for valence electrons as i said earlier we are going to uh, count the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell in the outermost shell for fluorine as well as the second shell so one two three four five six seven okay seven seven and number of unpaired electrons just one now you're going to notice the difference these two have no connection whatsoever okay now let's proceed with the structure boron has three valence electrons one two three and fluorine had seven valence electrons one two three four five six seven similarly we are going to dot two fluorines on the left and right side also one two three four five six seven one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now fluorine wants to complete its octate, so it's going to make a single bond with boron. Similarly, this fluorine also wants to complete its octate, and this one as well. Now these three fluorines have completed their octates. Okay, but but see, let's count the number of valence electrons for boron. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six electrons, but according to Lewis rule, Lewis octate rule, it stated that every element, every atom wants to complete its dup uh, duplet or octate. Okay, in boron, it has not com uh, completed its octate, but this molecule does exist and in a very fair quantity, and it has six electrons. But this is an exception to the Lewis octate rule, and such compounds, such molecules, are known as hypo valent molecules or compounds okay remember that the molecules in which the central atom has less than the uh, less less electrons than the stated uh, electrons as stated by lewis so he stated eight electrons and it is having just six electrons in its uh, valence uh, shell after making bonds now also we are going we are going to find out the hybridization of bf3 now boron had three uh, valence electrons so for hybridization 3 plus fluorine had 7 and we had three uh, fluorine atoms so 7 into 3 so 3 plus 21 plus is equal to 24 since this uh, quantity 24 is more than 8 I'm going to uh, teach you guys how to calculate hybridization in later video but remember if this quantity comes out to be greater than 8 then we divide it by 8 okay suppose if this uh, if this sum came out to be just suppose it that it came out to be 6 then we would have divided it by 2 or if it would if it would have been 8 itself then also we would have we would have uh, divided it by 2 but since this is 24 very uh, far away from 8 uh, larger than 8 we are going to divide it by 8 and this comes out as 3 which corresponds to sp2 hybridization which means the structure of bf3 will be trigonal planar which also means that the num that the angle between the bonds will be 120 degrees these are standard values this uh, for trigonal planar the angle between the bonds are 120 degree you just have to got to mug it up okay that's it this was the structure of bf3 thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video thank you